Good day, teacher and classmates. Today, we are going to talk about phylum arthropoda or arthropods. But before I start, what is phylum arthropoda? Phylum arthropoda. Any of invertebrate animals such as insects, arachnids, and crustaceans have a segmented body and jointed appendages. The name arthropoda means jointed legs in the Greek. Arthros means joint and podos means leg. Next, we are going to talk about exoskeleton. Exoskeleton is the external skeleton of arthropods. It's a highly efficient system for small animals. The exoskeleton provides a large surface area for the attachment of muscles and in addition to functioning in support and movement, also provides protection from the external environment. It is also a rigid external covering for the body in some invertebrate animals, providing both support and protection. Metamorphosis is the process of growth and development of arthropods. A biological process by which an animal physically develops after birth or hatching, involving a conspicuous and relatively abrupt change in the animal's body structure through cell growth and differentiation. There are the two main types of metamorphosis, the gradual metamorphosis and the complete metamorphosis. Gradual metamorphosis is shedding of exoskeleton and growth of other parts like the wings. Grasshopper undergo gradual metamorphosis, a type of development in which the immature stage, nymph, is a smaller version of the adult. So basically, gradual metamorphosis only have three stages of life cycle. Egg, nymph, and adult. And the second is the complete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis change of the entire body structure of an arthropod. It is also type of insect development that includes egg, larva, pupa, and adult stages. The four different types of phylum arthropoda. First is the class insecta, Next is the class Arachnida. Next is class Crustaceans. And the last is class Mariapoda. First, let us know what is class Insecta or insects. Insects have six pairs of legs, two pairs of wings, and a pair of antennae. They are usually found in the garden and they have complete tract from the mouth to anus. There are also insects like mosquitoes and houseflies that are considered pests because they help spread diseases. Second is class arachnida or arachnids. A class of animals that includes spider, scorpions, mice, and ticks. Most arachnids have segmented body divided into two regions, with the front part bearing four pairs of legs but no antennae. They have become adapted for a terrestrial life and possess both lungs and trachea, and many have silk or poison glands. There are over 70,000 species of class arachnida all over the world. All arachnids have eight legs. Unlike insects, they don't have an antennae. They also have exoskeleton for their body covering. Some species of arachnids, like spiders and scorpions, have venom that can kill another insect, a large animal, or a human. Some arachnids, like mice and ticks, are considered parasites to animals. The third is class crustaceae or class crustaceans. 
Most species of crustaceans are aquatic and are found especially in salt water. Many crustaceans, including crayfish, lobsters, and prawns, are important as human food. A pair of often much modified appendages on each segment and two pairs of antennae. Crustaceans are a common food for humans. Their outer covering is made of calcified material, meaning a buildup of calcium in body tissue that makes it firm and heavier. They have fused head and body called cephalothorax, which means a tagma of a various arthropod. Some crustaceans have pincers that use to hunt food and protection. And the last is class Myriapoda or Myriapods. Related to the hexapod insects, from which they differ in having the body made up of numerous similar segments, nearly all of which bear true jointed legs. They have 200 legs and one pair of antennae on the head. Like insects, myriapods also have a pair of antennae. Myriapods have two tagmata, the head and the trunk, and they lack compound eyes. There are around 10,000 species of myriapods known worldwide. Myriapods mostly eat dead leaves and fungi. If another animal threatens them, they may curl up and give some smelly toxic chemicals to protect themselves. Thank you for watching my video about phylum arthropoda or arthropods. My name is Alcea Mutas Navacobita, reporting.